Hi all. Well, let me wish you very happy new year. We know that Christmas, new year celebrations are over. Hope you enjoyed the season well. This is a new year 2021. We know that we had been loved during 2020 and it gave us little bit of difficulties but let us look forward for better and better this year. And we cannot blame the previous year. It made us capable of doing many things that are new. It made us learn new things like cooking, cleaning, making crafts. Some of you have started YouTube channels of your own and shooting, checking videos. So we must cherish from these experiences. The age is different, but we must be adventurous. We must be positive. Let the circumstances change, but we must be stronger and stronger. We must be ready to face anything with a smile on our face. There is nothing in the world that can defeat us. And we should keep up that energy. Covid, Shigala, we don't care. We take care wearing mask, being neat, hygienic. And that will do good for us. So once again I pray let this air bring you joy, happiness and let all your dreams be filled, fulfilled this year. Let this 2021 be good for you. So it is time to come back to the lessons today and our third lesson is a gift for Miss Jenny Miller. This lesson tells us about Jenny Miller, a six-year-old girl, and it's her birthday. Starting the lesson, we have get set do activity. Match the parts of a tree with the meanings. Do it yourself. The lesson goes like this. It is Jenny Miller's birthday. She is six today. Since the morning, very morning onwards, she had been singing. And six today. I'm six today. I'm six today. What does it tell you that? It tells you that. It tells us that Jenny is so much thrilled. She is very much happy about having her birthday today. Don't you feel the same? Yes, on our birthday we get up early. Normally, normally we have to come and make you wake up. But on your birthday you will Wake up on yourself, on your own, because out of the excitement. And then, the previous day, two, three days back itself, you will invite your siblings, friends, cousins, relatives, neighbors. And on your birthday, they come, their house will be, home will be, rooms will be arranged, decorated. Cake will be ready, getting ready, delicious man will be coming from the kitchen. Your friends, relatives and everyone who is invited will give you a gift on that day. Our character in the story, Miss Jenny Miller, got an unusual gift. What do you mean by unusual? A very different, a special, something that is not commonly given. Unusual, not usual. A very unusual gift and Jenny is very much excited. Looking in the text, I'm six today, I'm six today. She sang up in the morning. When she went to the kitchen, her mommy wished her happy birthday. While taking breakfast, bread and jam, she asked her father, Daddy, do I look different today? Her father said, yes, yes, very different. There is a different jam on your face. Jenny enjoyed this comedy, this fun. And then she had been running here and there in the house singing, I'm six today. The postman came 
came by. Came by. Arrived. Came by. Arrived. The postman came by. Arrived. Reached home and handed over a letter to. He says, he shouts at the door, Miss Jenny Miller, a, a letter for you. She ran downstairs and received the letter and ran home inside the house carrying the letter. She was very much thrilled. She said, Am I Miss Jenny Miller? Mom, am I Miss Jenny Miller? Till now, nobody had called her. Miss Jenny Miller. But she is six today. And so the postman addressed her Miss Jenny Miller. She was uh, um, confused. Am I Miss Jenny Miller? Am I grown up enough? Her mother said, Yes, you are Miss Jenny Miller. And the letter the postman handed over to Jenny was from Aunt Rachel. Aunt Rachel wrote in the letter, Dear Jenny, happy birthday. On my sixth birthday, someone gave me a very different gift and I want to get, give you a different one too. Tomorrow morning, I will come to you and will give you a tree as a gift. A tree as a birthday gift. Have you ever received a tree as a birthday gift? So, Jenny is thinking where to plant the tree. She ran out, ran out and looked here and there. Where should I plant a tree? There was some space. There is room outside the house, in front of the house. Room in the sense, place, space. There is room in front of the house and I can plant the tree there. There I can take my dolls outside and sit under the tree and play house. Don't play house. You will enact like mother. Your friend will be acting like the father of the house. There will be kids. Younger ones you will make them kids. Dolls will be the servants. Don't you play a house? Yes. Jenny said to her mommy, Yes, I'll make a house. I'll make a shelter under the tree. Even I can climb and sit on the top of the tree. I can sit way up the tree. Way up the tree in the sense? On top of the tree. High up in the tree. So that nobody can find me. But I can find them. So that is the secret place for Jenny Miller. She expects to play it. Jenny sat quietly that night thinking about the tree and she got a doubt how Aunt Rachel is going to carry the tree all the way from her home. Is she going to? Mommy said she might be keeping the tree on her head. Jenny laughed at this very thought. She thought maybe Aunt Rachel is going to keep the tree in her car, but is it not big enough to bring a tree? Maybe her car is a truck. And the next morning, Jenny was, with the very morning itself, Jenny was waiting in front of the house for Aunt Rachel. There, Aunt Rachel came, but not in a truck. She came in a station wagon. A station wagon is something that looks like a goods wagon, a goods vehicle, which helps people to carry things. Aunt Rachel came out of the wagon and she carried a small plant. It was not a tree at all. It was only a plant that is even shorter than Aunt Rachel. Jenny expected a tree that it has good shade. She can sit under, she can even climb and sit on the top of the tree. But Aunt Rachel brought a sapling which looks shorter than Aunt Rachel. Jenny was a bit disappointed.
She felt like crying. Who's this? The what I was waiting for. Is it for this that I was waiting for? She felt so sad. She felt like crying. There was lunch, but Jenny did not want to eat anything. Her mind was upset because she wanted a tree as a gift, but Aunt Rachel brought a sapling as a gift. She couldn't understand how that skinny object is going to give a shade. And when is it going to become a tree? It will take a long time. Jenny didn't want to wait. It made her face unpleasant. Her mother asked her, why, what's wrong? She said, nothing. When her father reached home in the evening, he asked her, where shall we plant the tree, plant the sapling? She said, put it at the backyard. In fact, she wanted to say, I don't care, I don't care, you may plant it anywhere. That was in fact her expression, but she said, plant it in the backyard. Yes, let us stop the lesson today and practice reading. I'll help you at the end of the video. Uh, let us turn the page, page number 28, exercise A. Find and write words from the story which mean the same as the following. An example is given a place in the house where food is cooked. Kitchen. And let us discuss the question answers 1 and 2. How old was Jenny? Yes, you said it. Jenny was 6 years old. What did Aunt Rachel give Jenny on her birthday? Aunt Rachel gave a sapling to Jenny on her birthday. And the second question goes like this. Where did Jenny want to plant her tree? Jenny wanted to plant the tree at the backyard of the house. Third question. How did Jenny feel when she saw the tree, the plant first? She felt to cry. She was disappointed because she expected a huge tree and received a sapling. It made her feel very sad. Let us read it together. I am six today. Jenny sang it like a song. Six today. Six today. She ran into the kitchen. Happy birthday, said her mother. Happy birthday, six-year-old, said her father. Jenny sat down to have breakfast. I don't feel different today, she said, as she ate some bread and jam. Do I look different? Her father took a good look. Hmm, he said, there is something different. What is it? What is it? cried Jenny. Well, said her father, there is a different kind of jam on your face this morning. Jenny laughed at her father. Everything made her laugh today. All morning she sang, I'm six today. The postman came by as Jenny sang her song. Well, here's a letter for Miss Jenny Miller. She sounds six years old. Jenny ran into the house with the letter. Am I Miss Jenny Miller? She asked her mother. Yes, indeed, said her mother. Sit down, Miss Jenny Miller, and I'll read your, this letter to you. The day I was six, someone gave me a wonderful present. I want you to have one just like it. I'll bring it to you tomorrow. The present is a tree, love. Aunt Rachel, a tree, a tree for a birthday present. But where can I put a tree? asked Jenny. There is a room in front of the house, said her mother. And there is a room in the back, there is room in the backyard. Where do you want it? Jenny ran outside to, to the front of the house and looked around. It's so sunny out here, she thought. Sometimes it is too sunny and too hot to play. I put the tree here. I can bring my doll outside and play house under a tree. Then Jenny ran to the backyard. 
If I put it here, I can sit way up in the tree. I will see everyone, but no one else will see me. Yes, I want the tree here. Jenny fell asleep that night, thinking about the tree. In the morning, she said, How can Aunt Rachel bring a tree all the way from her house? Hmm, said her father, maybe on her head. Jenny had to laugh when she thought about that. Her mother said, In the car, of course. A tree in a car? Maybe this car was a truck. So, Jenny sat outside and looked for a truck with a tree. Aunt Rachel did not come in a truck. She came in an old station wagon. Jenny was puzzled. Where was the tree? Happy birthday, Jenny dear, said Aunt Rachel. Then she went out to the back of the station wagon and took out something. Here it is, she cried, Jenny's tree. Jenny thought Aunt Rachel must be fooling for what she was holding. For she was holding up something that looked like a tall plant. It wasn't much taller than Aunt Rachel herself. How could that skinny old tree be a tree? Jenny said, thank you, but she wanted to cry. They had lunch and there was still some pink birthday cake left, but Jenny did not want any. What's the matter? said her, asked her mother. Nothing, said Jenny. They waited until father came home to plant the tree. Where do you want it to put it? He asked Jenny. Jenny said, in the backyard, but she wanted to say, I don't care, I don't care. Father made a deep hole. First he put some tree food in it and next the little tree and watered it. You will have to water it every day, every day, every week, he told Jenny. Jenny wanted to cry out, I won't, I don't care if it grows. <laughs> Let us stop the lesson today. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye. Take care.